everyone, my name is Rachel Druckenmiller and welcome to my nourishing kitchen. This week in our bag from Hometown Harvest, we got some really cool zucchini. And so what I'm going to show you today is how to make one of my favorite dishes as a kid, but how to make it healthier. So one of my favorite foods growing up was angel hair pasta and I would cover it with butter and Parmesan cheese. So fortunately there's a healthier way to do that today and it's actually going to use a vegetable, believe it or not. So. I'm going to use a really cool gadget that I have that costs less than $30 and it's called a spiralizer and that's what we're going to use to create pasta noodles out of regular old zucchini. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to chop the ends off the zucchini and then I'm going to use about a two or three inch piece of the zucchini and I'm going to try to get the ends as flat as possible. And then I'm going to put it right on top, the spiral slicers, three pieces. I'm going to put it on top of this little pointy thing right in the middle. And then there's a, a little grate, there's a little um, slicer that has teeth on it. And you want that facing up. And so you're going to put it right on the base. So put the zucchini in the middle, it's a little stable. And you put the top on click it into place and what you're going to do is you're just going to press down just a little bit on top of the zucchini until you feel the top part push in and so it gets really steady and all you're going to do is hold it with your left hand and then turn the crank around you're just going to kind of push it down very gently and what will start to happen is noodles will start to form on the very bottom again this is really really simple it's definitely quicker than boiling water and waiting for pasta to cook. And so what you do is you just do this with each piece of zucchini. And then what it'll do is it'll stop when it gets to a really small piece and it can't do it anymore. And you'll know because it'll, it'll stop resisting you. You'll turn the top off. You'll be left with a little piece of zucchini like this, which you can saute up or just eat raw by itself. Pop the top off. And then here is the raw zucchini pasta. It's really cool. It looks just like pasta. It'll be one long string, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to take a pair of scissors to it and just kind of cut it a couple times so that it's something you can actually eat. And then the, what I like to do is I like to store it on top of a paper towel in a bin in the refrigerator to soak up all the extra moisture. And one of my favorite uh, nutritionists, Kimberly Snyder, who wrote a book called The Beauty Detox Foods, she suggests leaving it out for three hours so that it gets to be more like room temperature and more like the, the true consistency of, of cooked pasta. Um, but I've just eaten it kind of right away and that tends to be easy for me. So it's that simple to do it. So the next time you want to have a want to have some pasta and you have a craving for it, try this alternative instead and make your own zucchini noodles. So thanks again for stopping by and make sure to put some zucchini in your bag next week. Thanks a lot.